big cup of hot chocolate. It's liquid nitrogen. I'm using it to make the world's coldest cherry slushies. Awesome! First of all, that was for my friend, Sidney Finkelbaum, who's coming to visit. And second of all, it's still too cold to drink. Shouldn't that have been first of all? <laughs> Sydney and I were best buds at MIT. Ooh, one time, we were up all night arguing over whether electrons and quarks aren't zero-dimensional objects, but rather one-dimensional oscillating lines. <laughs> we were pretty wild. This Sydney sounds like a huge nerd. Actually, I prefer the term geek. Sydney! That's a Sydney Finkelbaum? <laughs> so good to see you, Adam. Yeah. Are you sure you've got enough room for me at your place? I have a huge guest room with satellite TV. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking out loud with a king size feather bedroom for your local phone calls. Sydney, this is Derby. Hi. Would you like a slushie? I made them myself. <laughs> oh. Don't mind him. He's got brain freeze. From the slushie? No, it's genetic. So, you teach here, huh? Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Hey, why didn't I show you around the rest of the school? Good idea. We can start with the girls' locker room. Who knows? Maybe a tickle fight will break out. <laughs> Wait. Help. My feet are frozen to the floor. <laughs> Jim has a trampoline? I love trampolines. <laughs> Who needs feet? I can lend it to you. <laughs> oh, I've got money. <laughs> Mr. Slabinski, this is the last time you'll be doing that. Oh, he's fine. He's got like three minutes of air left. <laughs> I'm not talking about him. I... Uh, Mr. Tater. <laughs> I'm talking about the fact that we're removing all snack machines from the school. Oh, awesome! So the candy will just be free and piled up on the floor? <laughs> no, the candy goes too. Wait, no machines and no candy is going to make it a lot harder to get candy. That's the point. It's part of my healthy food initiative. Well, I think getting rid of the snack machines is a great idea. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> the proprietor of this confection shop stole my doubloon. All right, all right, I've got one. Okay. What do you call a neutron that's been around for a long time? I don't know. An old tron. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, because a neutron wouldn't be around for a long time. Right, because that article goes beta decay, forming a proton and electron and... An electron, electron and neutrino! neutrino. <laughs> 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 I guess I'm done with that. Hey, Adam. I hope I'm not interrupting anything, like Sydney skipping downstairs after a shower wearing nothing but a shorty robe. Hey, Derby. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit of a pizza coma coming on. I think I'm gonna go to bed. Tonight was fun. Yeah. Yeah. What just happened? Yeah, it's like an idiot. <laughs> hey, you know, you do it all the time. I'm surprised you didn't recognize it. The pat on the head, the romantic Italian dinner, the follow me upstairs and watch me take a bubble bath spot. What are you talking about? Are you blind? Sydney is obviously hot for you. And I'm a big enough person to let you have her. Until you're disfigured in a tragic lab explosion at a very young age. <laughs> then I get her. Sydney's my friend. Nothing more. Oh, you made the guest bed up. It's 
Stephen Hawking sheets. You're so sweet. Good night. Well, in the words of Stephen Hawking, that chick is so into you. <laughs> some hands. Who has heard of the War of 1812? You told us about it last month. And yesterday. And ten minutes ago. Fine. Have I taught you about Gandhi? No. Aha! Mahatma Gandhi was India's most famous political and spiritual leader. But before that, he used to babysit the little scamp. He always threw his toy truck at me. Non-violence, my butt. Non-violence? Why would two nuns fight? She said non-violence. Gandhi used peaceful acts of civil disobedience to right injustices. I thought you said I didn't teach this before. Yeah, I lied. Look, who cares about some wimpy dead guy? Tater's trying to take away our candy machine, and there's nothing we can do to right this injustice. Nuns? How are nuns gonna help us? Well, I have to say, I applaud your commitment to nonviolence. Thanks. Well, since I'm chained up like this, do you mind, you know, rounding up some nerds and giving them wedgies for me? All right, let's get this machine out of here. What's this? Believe it or not, a nonviolent protest. Oh, slab? Nonviolent? <laughs> Yeah. You got a problem with that, Tanner? Oh, no, sir. What are you doing? I was eating a chicken salad sandwich. Well, that's cannibalism. Because you're a chicken, afraid to ask Sydney out. Sydney's not interested in me. And even if she were, it would never work. Why not? Because. Hey, Echo, what'd you get for lunch? There's plenty of room at my table. I love your shoes. Hey, Adam. That's why. You see how Echo and I feel about each other? Yeah, you worship the ground she walks on, and she just walks on. Unlike Sydney, was practically falling all over you. She is not falling all over me. Hey, Adam, guess what I've eaten? You know, it'd be nice if a gorgeous babe fell on me every once in a while. Uh, how would you like to experience a massive flaming ball of gas? If she asks you to pull her finger, don't do it. I scored us two tickets to the intergalactic star stational laser show at the planetarium. Sweet mother of Galileo. So can you go? Can I go? Was Dr. Myron Metzenbaum a genius? <laughs> he invented Metzenbaum scissors, which revolutionized surgery by facilitating the cutting of delicate tissue. Yeah. So you're not even going to mention his groundbreaking work resetting pediatric nasal cartilage? Or his ability to fart the alphabet? <laughs> oh, wait, maybe it's a different Myron Metzenbaum. Did your guy go to Camp Chunky Lake? Okay, so the planetarium, it's a date. Yeah. A date? See, I told you, a date. <gasps> Sydney is into me. I don't believe it, Derby. You were actually right about something. Just remember this day. I know I will. <laughs> This is your last chance, Slab. Unchain yourself from that machine or face the consequences. <laughs> I can hear you without the megaphone. The school paid for a megaphone, and I'm gonna use it. I'm sorry for doing that, but I'm trying to be supportive of Slab's nonviolent protest. Hey, that one's getting away! I'm on it! Go, go, go! I hope I don't mess things up tonight. Relax. I can help. My virtual alter ego, Antoine Bolognese, <laughs> is quite the ladies' man. Maybe I can call one of my friends from the MIT Science Club for advice. No, he's never been out with a woman. Or him. Or him. Get ready. A date with Bolognese can get saucy. <laughs> hey, baby. Is it uh, just my imagination, or have you lost weight? 
Then once you've sweet talked her, you make your move. Stretch, lean, and wrap the present. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> well, girls usually say they kiss you over their dead body. That's no way to treat a rapper. And I should know, because I am a rapper. Bow shizzle. Look, Toupe Shakur. Yo, what up, homeboy? I need me some each before I roll over to the hood and get props from my peeps. Word upward. You better buy something quick. That butthead tater's trying to get rid of this machine. The guy's so lame. <laughs> to be fair, he has a very difficult job juggling the needs of parents, students, teachers. If you ask me, his administrative skills are uh, off the his hook. <laughs> well, it's agree to disagree. Anyway, I'm gonna score my bad self a bag of chocolate chewies. Just let me get some scratch out of my trousers. <laughs> Oh, stupid bolt cutters. Do you want me to give you a hand? Well, thank you, dog. <clears throat> Not cool, G. Hey, what's crack a shorty? I really wish my parents could afford private school. I get it. You've been showing me your moves for an hour. Fine. Let's see what you got. Pretend the skeleton is Sydney. Hey, Sid. You look great tonight. The white of your clavicle really brings out your cheekbones. <laughs> Remember, look at her eye holes, not her ribs. Girls hate that. <laughs> now, stretch. Lean. And wrap the present. This is why I had to get rid of the last science teacher. Mr. Tater. <laughs> What can I do for you? Well, if you're finished with your childish antics, I need you to build me a stink bomb. A stink bomb? I don't know how to make a stink bomb. You want to start with a volatile organic compound. I'd go with either ethanethiol if you want a deer urine smell, or butanethiol if you want something a little more skunky. What about a rotten egg smell? Ammonium sulfide? That's so cliche. Have a little pride, man. <laughs> How do I look? Great, but one more thing. <coughs> what kind of cologne is that? Cologne? It's nonstick cooking spray. What, women love the smell of butter. Hey, Adam, you ready to go? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. You two kids have fun. I won't wait up. So you're just planning on staying in my house? I'm roasting a chicken. Get my head if it weren't attached to my neck by a series of cervical and thoracic vertebrae. I'm so in. Hello. Hi, honey. It's my boyfriend. The cover of Fab Abs? That's amazing. He's a, a torso model. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> no, not much. Just uh, hanging out with my friend, that genius kid I told you about. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. No, of course. I'll let you get back to your crunches. Okay. I love you. Sydney has a boyfriend. I've got to warn Adam. But if you don't eat roasted chicken right away, it dries out. <laughs> Oh, these are great seats. Yep. Paid a scalper to get us right under the Triffid Nebula. Wow, that's my favorite of all the Messier Nebulae. <laughs> you remember? Of course. Okay. Welcome to the Intergalactic Star Sational Laser Show. Tonight, you will embark on a journey to a place most men only dream of. You know. Women dream of it, too. Prepare to get closer to a heavenly body than you've ever been before. Hey, are you okay? You're sweating. Yeah, 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 it's just hot in here. With that sun going supernova. Yeah, well, here, let me, uh, let me get you a tissue. I'm giving you one last chance. Unchain yourself now or I'll be forced to take drastic measures. Bring it. <laughs> Where did you get a megaphone? None of your business. Fine. You leave me no choice. What is this? Ammonium sulfide. The stench of rotten eggs. <laughs> it's a classic for a reason. <sighs> Good first effort. But next time, you might want to try something like this. <laughs> oh, my. It's like a... Skunk married a dung beetle and their baby got a job cleaning porta potties at a chili festival. Oh, Showing progress. Ah, uh, why did I stop to make radish roses? Because a meal should also be a feast for the eyes. <laughs> Witness Halley's comet on her elliptical orbit around the sun. Don't miss your chance. Some opportunities only come once in a lifetime. Poppycock! I've seen it six times! Adam, don't do it! Beware. The dwarf planet is on a collision course with the hot sun. The very hot sun. The really distractingly hot sun with... Pretty hair. <laughs> the hot son has a boyfriend. Who also sounds hot. The dwarf planet should not wrap the present. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> ah! Oops. Adam! Why do I smell burnt butter? You are. Whoa. The laser did that? On the bright side, I no longer have to wear contacts. Hey, I looked for you at your house last night, but you weren't there. Yeah, I slept in the garage. I was kind of embarrassed. Why? You've burnt stuff into your face plenty of times. It's not what I mean. The truth is, when he asked me to the laser show, I kind of thought maybe you wanted to be more than just friends. You did? Yeah, it was stupid. Plus, Derby told me of a boyfriend. I do. But I don't think it was stupid. I think it was sweet. Really? Yeah. You're a great guy, and you're a good friend. But you know I'm too old for you, right? Yeah, I know. But Derby said... Whoa. Derby? <laughs> you're taking advice on women from that guy? So, uh... What do you want to do today? 
No, you pick. No, you pick. Stop it. Point taken. The truth is there's actually somebody else I'm interested in. Hey, Echo, you're here early. Did you take the bus? I like your shirt. Hey, Adam. But I don't think she thinks of me that way. <laughs> oh, Adam! Thank you again for last night. You really know how to make a woman feel special. It was one of the greatest nights of my life. I thought you said I was too young for you. I'm kind of getting mixed signals here. Play along, genius. Now, promise me we can get together next time I'm in town. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I mean, I'll think about it, babe. Mm -hmm. Well, when you do, remember this. Hey, Adam. I was wondering if you're free after school. Huh? You know, to help me with science stuff. Huh? Hello? Don't feel bad. I'm getting the silent treatment, too. Are you kidding me? Where's that? I'm up, Mommy. I'm up, Mommy. I mean, uh, I'm up, Echo. I don't live with Mommy. You guys actually spent the night here? This is ridiculous. I bet you don't even remember what you're arguing about. I want to keep the candy machine. I want healthier food in the school. Okay, but can't we find some kind of compromise? Never. Impossible. Well, why don't we fill it with half healthy food and half candy? Deal. Works for me. See? Kids like having a choice. Yeah. Gotta say, I'm digging this fruit ball. It's called an app. Even Mr. Tater seems happy. No, not the parsnip chips, the caramel kapow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow! 